Virginia Kickoff, brought to you by FriendshipCars.com. We're going to make our way to the high school ranks. Union taking on John Battle, picking this game up in the first quarter. Xavier Lomax, well, this kid's an absolute unit, and when he gets kick out blocks like that, well, it's pretty easy to make it to the end zone. No one's around him for the opening score. And we all know Bradley Bunch is a stud on the basketball court, but the junior might be even better under center. Bunch rifles this over the middle to Brody Gibson, and no one's catching the senior as he takes it to the promised land as well. And we saw what Lomax can do when he has a couple of holes, but the back can create his own space. Lomax makes a couple of defenders miss, and then he finally gets brought down. And Union's offense, well, they're just going to continue to run wild as they take this one 33-12. to Let's head to the backyard brawl between Taswell and Richlands. The Blue Tornadoes were behind in the second half, but that changed after a kickoff return for a touchdown, along with this Isaiah Bandy 42-yard field goal, and that actually gave Richlands the lead. But the Bulldogs snatched the upper hand right back when Gavin Nunley connects with Josiah Jordan, who's going to go the distance. Look at this kid's wheels. The man has some speed on him. Now with Taswell up 19-12, to 12, there's only really one decision to go with, and that's go for two, and that's a simple, simple two-point conversion right there, making it a two-score game, and that might have been the nail in the coffin for some teams, but not for the Blue Tornadoes. Gavin Cox, who's 6'7", that's a huge quarterback right there, hits Jake's Olazer, who to cut the deficit to a pair. Now the onside kick was almost recovered, but Taswell is going to hold on to chalk up their first victory over Richlands, in 17 years. That's incredible. So great job by them as they're going to win this one 21 to 19. Over to Russell County, Honeaker hosting Patrick Henry at New Fuller Field. The Rebels up in the second quarter and they just kept it going as Ian Ray punches this in from a few yards out. It's 29 to nothing after this score. Now, when the scoreboard does look like that, obviously the defense showed up. Jaquan McPhail just pile drives the back into the turf. Now, if this kid's on the wrestling team, good for him. Good luck to him in upcoming seasons. If he's not, coach, you got to get him signed up. What a great takedown there. Now, Patrick Henry with the ball once again, but Peyton Whited makes a touchdown saving tackle. And if you're going to go low on anyone, it's that back right there. But honestly, it really didn't matter because they would punch it in just a couple of plays later. Chase Brown gets the score behind the big hog. Molly's up front, and Patrick Henry's going to take down Honeaker 38 to 13.